Hello everyone, I hope everyone is doing well. So we have another problem here. We have this truss and the question here is to find internal forces in member BD, CD and CE. We have already labeled the truss and it has been asked to find in these three members. One is BD, CD and CE. In these three members only. It is not uh, required to solve the whole truss. So we will use method of section here to find internal forces in these three members only. Now what we do in the method of section, step by step I will solve this problem. So first of all we have to see and look for the global reaction. We know here we have a roller support here at this side and we have pen support here at this side. First we will find the global reaction and then we will cut the truss through the member of interest. Member of interest means wherever we want to find the internal forces on these three sections. Let's say. And then we will redraw the free body diagram of half of the section. Which half section? This one or this one? It is up to you. Which one is easy? You can take that one. So first we will find reaction forces. Second we will cut through the member of interest and take the half of the section and then we will use conditions of equilibrium to solve for the unknown. So the reaction forces we have here this is a roller support so we will have AY and here we have pin support so we will have FY and FX also. So we have this uh, two reaction here, one reaction here. So let us find this reaction which is AY. How to find this reaction? Before solving the problem I will set my sign convention. So this is positive here, this one is positive and clockwise moments are positive. So to find AY I can take moment about point F. If I take moment about point F, sum of the moment about point F equal to 0. So what are the forces producing moment about point F? 360 kN acting downward, counterclockwise it is producing. So we can say 360 minus 360 times the distance which is 4 meter. And then we have this AY. AY is producing moment clockwise. So plus AY times the distance which is 4 plus 4 plus 4, 12. And this will be equal to 0. So from here I can say that AY is equal to 120 kilonewton. You can solve this equation with calculator and you will be able to find a1. So this reaction is 120 kN. Now even we don't need this Fy and Fx. We will not solve because we will take this side of the truss for solving. So what I will do? I will cut, draw a section line through the member of interest. These are the member of interest. And I am taking this side of the truss. So I will redraw this side of the truss here. So look here, this side of the truss, if I redraw, how it will be. It will be like this. So we have this point A and we have this AY which is 120 kN, we know it. This is point B, point C, this is BD, BD, this is CD and this one is CE. Right? So these three are unknown, we need to find. This one is 4 meter and the height is 3 meter, it is given here. So what I will do, as I told you in the previous video, we can 
solve the unknown forces using method of section by taking moment at about any point here in this section as we know that when this truss is in equilibrium it means any section of the truss will also be in equilibrium so this section is also in equilibrium so i am taking this section to find the unknown now where i have to start i will start because we have we have three unknown so i will start from a point where from that point two forces are passing why because if two forces are passing from that point so the moment due to those two forces will be zero so in the equation i will have the last one the third one uh, which will be only one unknown in one equation so i will be able to find that one so here look from point c the ce is passing and cd is passing so if i take moment about point c i can easily find bd look here sum up the moment about point c equal to 0 now what are the forces producing moment about point c ay and we know ay is 120 kN so 120 kN this is producing clockwise moment so that's why it is positive 120 times the distance which is 4 meter here then we have bd and bd is also producing clockwise moment so plus bd times the distance distance here will be height of the truss which is 3 meter times 3 and that's it because ce and cd both are passing from point c so that will be 0 so this will be equal to 0 from here i can find bd equal to minus because both every all are positive so you have to just multiply 120 multiplied by 4 and bring it to the right side of the equation and then divide by 3 so it will be 1 minus 160 kilo newton and it will gain compression so bd is 160 kilo newton in compression now the next thing is I want to find let's say CE so if I want to find CE I have to take moment about a point from where the other two unknowns are passing so where is the point from where the other two unknowns are passing one we know even now BD we know but CD we don't know that point we don't have in the truss from where these two forces BD and CD will pass so in this section we don't have we will take from the original truss and that point we will just put it in the section here you see which is point D so this point D I will show in my section here and I will take moment about point D so if I take moment about point D BD will be 0 and CD will be 0 so I will have only CE which I can easily find so for CE let me write the equation so the equation will be sum of the moment about point D equal to 0 now what are the forces producing moment about point D we have AY it will be producing clockwise moment and AD, uh, AY is 120 so 120 times the distance now look here from A to point D how much is the distance 4 plus 4 8 then what other forces are producing moment cd no bd no so ce is producing moment ce so ce is producing counterclockwise moment so minus ce times the distance distance this force is passing from here so the distance from here to here is the height of the truss which is 3 meters times 3 and that's it this is equal to 0 so from here I will find CE just multiply 120 by 8 and then divide by 3 so we will have 320 kN it is positive so it will be in tension so CE is 320 kN now what is that we found 
CE, we found BD, so the left is, this CD is left. How to find CD? Look, if we take moment about point D, CD is passing from point D, so we cannot find. If we take moment about point C, again we cannot. If we take moment about point A, we can find CD. Because one component of CD will produce moment about point A. And that component we need to find. Look, first we have to see this CD is, has two components. One is its horizontal component, which is CD cos theta. And one is its vertical component, which is CD sin theta. Which is theta? Theta is here, this one. Now this theta, how we will find this theta? Look into the original truss, this theta is this one. And if you take this triangle, look here, this triangle, we can easily find theta. And theta will be equal to 10 inverse height, which is 3 meter, divided by we have the base 4. So with this way, we can find theta, and theta will be equal to 36.9 degree. So 36.9 degree is the theta here. Now look, we take mo if we take moment about point A, so what are the forces producing moment about point A? Look here, sum up the moment about point A equal to 0. What are the forces producing moment about point A? BD. So BD times the distance. Look, BD is acting here. It will produce clockwise. So the distance will be height of the truss, which is 3 meter. Then we have CE, but CE is passing from point A. So it is not producing any moment. We have CD cos theta. Cos theta is also here. So again it is passing from point A. It is also not producing moment. But C is sine theta, look, it is acting upward, so it is not passing from point A, it will produce moment which will be counterclockwise. Look, C, C D sine theta, this one. So C D sine theta will be negative C D sine theta times the distance. Distance will be 4 meter. And that's it. There is no other force producing moment about point. A. So this is BD times 3 minus CD sine 36.9 times 4 equal to 0. So from here if you do this calculation you will be able to find CD because BD we know. From here we know here this one. So we will put BD here. Negative sign is here. So we will use this negative sign. Right? Negative 160 and 36, sine 36 we know, just use calculator, so you will be able to find CD. And CD will be equal to negative 200 kilonewton, and that will be in compression. Right? So once you do this calculation with calculator, you will find CD. And CD is 200 kilonewton in compression. Now what we found, we found the three members, right? BD, which is 160 kilonewton compression. We found CE, which is 320 kilonewton tension. And CD, 200 kilonewton, again compression. So these three were the unknown, and we found those three members with the help of method of section. So we have not found like A, B, A, C and move them to this point, right? So this is not like the method of joints we solve joint by joint. We can take half of the section and from that half section with three steps only we are able to find the members of interest, the internal forces and the members where we are interested. So this is how we solve problems using method of section.